Uh, Michael and Brady, I know both of you guys had uh, Baylor Teal's initials on your hats there in Omaha. Just talk about keeping uh, you know his memory and just his inspiration uh, you know, from you from year to this year. Um, you know, it, before my start, it just kind of felt right for his initials to be on there. And, um, you know, uh, last year, uh, you know, he all kind of put this, he kind of put this game in perspective for all of us. And, um, you know, he, he showed us how to battle. And, and, you know, just going back out there again uh, against Texas a and it just felt right to have it on there. And, um, you know, that's, you know, you can still, you can always draw from things in the past. And, um, you know, just his perspective on life is, uh, you know, inspiring. I think Baylor was a, a big part of our team last year. He was an uh, inspiration to us all. And uh, we carried him with, it, with us this year. We wanted to honor him and, and his family and, and our, uh, in our thoughts. And uh, just have that inspiration just to think that this is just a game. There's tougher challenges in life, and we should just have fun while we're here. Coach, there's talk about renaming the stadium after you. What are your thoughts about that? I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably. Don't you guys think it'd be a little bit funny? I thought they would pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe that's what you heard. If I give ten million, they'll put my name on it. <laughs> you guys help with a contribution. Yeah, I don't have any you got that big money. contract with the Dodgers, right, Scott? They don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Yeah, I, 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 a couple of guys got me on the bus today about that. I, I wasn't I wasn't aware that that had, had been out a little bit. So it's uh, it's uh, obviously very very flattering that somebody would even put that out. It, it's uh, you know, but certainly I, I don't deserve my name to be on anything. These guys might deserve their names, but certainly not me. Coach, I've always ascribed to the theory that the very best teams reflect the personality of the coach. Do you see yourself in these guys? Do they see you in them, do you think? Um, opposites attract. Um, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, I see I, I see them, and, and maybe I'd like to be like them when I grow up. But I'm very serious and intense and sometimes over the top. And I think um, in my coaching career, that's been a mistake on my part. For, for a long, long time, and I've tried to be better in the last few years, that sometimes you can hurt your team by the intensity and the seriousness and, and putting them in a situation where they're not comfortable. This group uh, really wasn't phased by me at all. They understood me, they knew who I was, they, they know that I care about winning, they know I care about them, and they had a good time. And, and I tried not to get in their way too much with that. So I think that, um, you know, we know each other very well, and, and I respect who they are and how they do it, and I think that in return they they respect uh, the way I am. And, you know, I, I try to have a little bit of fun too, but I can't have quite as much fun as these guys have. Scott, would you respond to that too? Um, Your reaction to that? I'll let you remember the question. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I'm ADD, man. <laughs> um, you know, Coach Tanner is intense, and he's intense in the fall, and their squads, and you know, I think that really does help us. I think that helps us with, uh, you know, coming in tight situations because, you know, he expects the most out of us. You know, he, he's gotten the most out of me. He's gotten the most out of everybody up here. And, um, you know, while he is so intense and we're so, you know, loose and just having fun, I think it's a good balance. And, um, you know, I, I think we're loose because of the way he kind of coaches us. and. And um, you know, I think it. I think it's a good fit. I wanted to ask for all the, you know, little league baseball players that are growing up right now who dream that one day that they could meet you guys sitting there. What would you say to them about how it feels to reach this level? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, it's it's hard to describe. I mean, it, it's a dream come true. Uh, you know. When I was uh, 12, I remember watching South Carolina and Clemson play in the College World Series, and um, that uh, you know, I, Rosenblatt was the place you wanted to be, and um, you know, I've I've been blessed to have a chance to play there, and you know, you really can't describe what it's like. You can't describe what Omaha's like to anybody unless they've been there, and um, you know, you just if you're a young 
kid trying to get there, I mean, you just have to keep working hard. And, um, you know, I, I know I'm not the most talented person out there, but, you know, I, I try to work the hardest and to, to be where I am. And, um, you know, I, that's the way these guys are too. And, uh, you know, you just have to just keep working hard. I mean, I, I've never had a feeling like that. I, I don't think last year, um, honestly, it's kicked in yet. So I don't know when this year's okay. So <laughs> I just remember when I was younger in the summer, sitting around and playing in my summer afternoons, and me and my dad would sit down and watch the College World Series games. And, and you dream of that being a, being a kid and, and playing in the College World Series. And when you come to a school like this and you, you have the opportunity to win it, it's just indescribable. And for all the for all the young baseball players, I mean, I would just say you never stop dreaming because you can always reach the top. I don't let anybody ever tell you no because you're too small or because I've faced that all my life and you just somebody you have to battle through and fight. Yeah, I just think um, working hard and uh, like Coach says, when you work hard, you, uh, you put yourself in an opportunity, you know, to do good. You know, it, it doesn't always guarantee success, but you set yourself up to um, be in a position to uh, succeed. So just work hard and hope it works out. Brady, in your time during the program, how has the team progressed? How has the team personality changed as you've watched it become a championship club? I think since I've been here, this team has always been pretty loose. We've always uh, been a bunch of goofballs. We've always just had fun. You know, we we like to we don't like to take things too serious. We, our goal every day is to win. Um, we know the coaches want to win, and I've never played for a coaching staff that's wanted to win so bad as this one is. And I think that's why I have all the respect in the world for these coaches. Um, these players are just, you know, day in and day out. We want to win. We step on the field with confidence knowing that we're going to win and nobody's going to beat us.